حتی نفوز و چاه Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the thumbnail, yes, I'm going to talk about gym and my experience at the gym and why I started the gym and of course ended off with showing you what's in my gym bag. So, okay. Should we get started? Okay, let's do it. Let's so for the most part, if you do follow me on Instagram, especially on Instagram, because that's where I talk about the gym. Uh, if you do follow me on Instagram, I have started gym. It's been about just under three months of me being at the gym. Um, uh, and there are various reasons why I started at the gym. Um, one of them being like, okay, if you're somebody who loses a dramatic amount of weight, uh, over a certain period of time you start to notice a little bit of changes in your body girl okay and the changes is just that things go okay things tend to sag things tend to be a little bit juggly uh things things just tend to look a little bit weird and for me i didn't quite like that uh but one of the other reasons why i started at the gym is because i actually needed an outlet um I kind of found that there was a little bit too much routine in my life in terms of just going to work and then coming back home and then eating and then going to bed and whatever and I kind of felt like I needed to do something a little bit different you know um, and for me gym was it I kind of felt like you know what I mean I've got time to spare I my work hours are normally quite regular I kind of thought that you know what let me just try this whole gym kind of setup kind of thing and for the most part it was kind of hectic <laughs> okay I uh, was very very excited in the beginning I am still really quite excited about gym even now the problem is it is a lot of discipline it's a lot of dis discipline um, so for the most part yes i work out yes i have a personal trainer because i could not trust myself to uh just jump into the gym and do my own thing first and foremost i'd never set foot in a gym before ever in my life and i did not know how the equipment works i didn't know how the classes work i didn't know nothing and for the most part i kind of thought that you know what i need to have somebody who's going to teach me how to uh how all of the stuff works and what's important and what's not important and how to position your body especially when you're doing certain exercises uh because you can actually injure yourself quite a bit at the gym if you're not po poised or positioned yourself in a certain way when you're doing certain exercises and certain uh working on certain machines and things like that so for me the best thing for me was that you know what uh in the first month i was like okay let me get myself a trainer for about about two days because trainers are <laughs> trainers are expensive okay so i'm like okay let me get myself a trainer for just two days see how it goes whatever whatever by the end of the first month i was like no i need my trainer for four days in in uh the week so uh that's that's what i spoke to my trainer about and uh we worked things out and i was like okay i need you four times a week if not three three to four times a week so i train three to four times a week i train in the afternoons because that is um pretty much the best time for me in the morning i'm already leaving the house at quarter past six ten past six in the morning and headed to work so i i really couldn't find a time in which i could slot in a uh, gym very early in the morning that would mean i'd have to get up at like three or four in the morning and for me <laughs> not gonna happen uh as much as i'm a morning person girl i am not trying to get up at three o'clock in the morning especially in winter okay no i'm not but i've got a really great trainer he's fun he's a good time we have lots of chats and uh you know he's taught me so much about positioning myself uh he's taught me so much on you know just training and how to do it right and the machines and things like that so for me the whole intent of gym was to tone to tone and to have control over my body because 
This having control over my body, I never noticed how important it was until I started gym. There were certain things that I would do like um, lunges and burpees and things like that where I would topple over. Like I, I literally fell at the gym in front of many, many people probably three or four times by now. And it's embarrassing, but you know, it's funny how the people that are at the gym, well, at my gym, around the time that I go, are um, quite friendly and they laugh and they smile with you, not at you, you know? They don't laugh. They smile with you, like not at you, in the sense that you got it, get up, do it, do it, do it again, you know what I mean? And I've noticed how my control over my body ever since starting, ever since toppling over has actually improved so much. I don't fall over anymore. Um, I don't get dizzy. Oh my gosh, the first couple of times my body was in tremendous pain, uh, stretching my muscles and things like that. It's not fun. One thing I can advise if you want to do to start out gym, uh, if you're gonna do it the first couple of times, try not try to stay away from heels. Don't wear heels because you're gonna be like this. Okay, you're gonna be shaking, and it's it's actually it's actually quite something. Uh, your body hurts for quite a while, for about a week to two weeks, your body will hurt, but your body gets accustomed to it at the same time. So it's actually quite um, nice. I enjoy it uh, for the most part right now. Um, and yeah, you learn when you get to the gym that there's certain things that you need to bring with you to the gym. So for instance, I had to learn, I had to buy a, a combination lock for my stuff and yeah, all of those things that you kind of have to figure out when you go to the gym that you're gonna need, especially if you're lifting machines and stuff, you're lifting and you are, uh, uh, you're doing your leg things, but you have to hold on to something, it will damage your hands. So gloves are very important as well. So it's, it's, it's sort of just a bunch of things that I had to learn um, through my trainer as well that listen, next time I want you to bring gloves because your hands are gonna get quite damaged, especially this part of your hands if you are, you know, lifting and all of that jazz. For the most part, it's been great. How it has impacted, have I seen any changes on my body? Absolutely. My legs, uh, calves, there's a lot of, it's, it's tightened up again, it's toning, it's, um, the jelly is going away, especially on my thighs. Yes, jelly thighs, thunder thighs will be jelly thighs eventually, you know, unless you are just genetically just blessed with whether you have thunder thighs or not but you don't have any jelly jelly means cellulite let's get with it okay um but yeah for me i had a serious problem with the jelly especially after having lost uh as much weight that i lost you guys know if you follow the channel so and I have one hour sessions. I have like a 15 minute warm up session where I do some um, spinning on the bike and then I do a full on one hour session with my trainer which is intense. A lot of the time it's intense. I moved on from um, a set of two on each and every machine or whatever and now I'm on to four or five sets of repeating whatever I'm doing. So it's kind of crazy but it's so enjoyable for me for the most part. I love how it makes me feel afterwards I feel so good after I come back from the gym um, of course the body will be tired and it will hurt I was at the gym yesterday and my calves and my thighs hamstrings things are hurting okay but um, you get used to it it's not as bad as when you start out so that's my gym story for now there's really not much I can tell you now I'm gonna share with you what I carry in my gym bag so my gym bag is quite a big one this is it it's a K-way uh, gym bag I've just got it on a chair I've set it on a chair this one is very sturdy it is big it's spacious um, the reason why I wanted it to be big and spacious is because I change for the gym when I'm at work. Just before I leave work, I change into my gym tights and blah, 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 and all that jazz, and uh, I go straight to the gym from work. So I needed a bag that is actually quite big uh, so that I can carry everything I need in there. So we're gonna whip things out and we're gonna go with it, okay? So my card was a little bit full, so I had to sort that out. Um, so the first thing I took out was a towel. Now, normally I have two towels. I have a big towel and I have a small one. A small one, 
you're gonna need a towel when you're at the gym you're gonna sweat like crazy you're gonna sweat um and the small one is for when i am working on the machines and whatever and then the big one is for when i am at the pool and i'm swimming uh the next couple of things out are normally my changing clothes these are the chain <laughs> i love this t-shirt because it's you know ipod it's written ipod pot weed ipod get it okay uh these are normally my changing clothes this is what i change into when i am at work on my way to the gym and i also carry of course just a pair of sneakers that I can work out in and a water bottle. Now you guys know I love the hip water bottles. I talk about the hip water bottles on my social media and I love these. I've got them in three colors. I've got gray. This is a nice new gray one. I've got a black one which sits in the house and I was actually drinking water from it just now. I've got a black one um, and I've got a red one and I really, really, really love them. I really love them. I actually even bought them for my family members as well. Uh, they're available at, they're so cool, man. It looks like you're sipping on some whiskey, some drink, you know what I'm saying? It's just rounded, you know? I'm basically pulling things out of the big portion of the bag. I've got goggles because I swim with goggles. I kind of get really really irritated by uh the water at the pool um next out is this i love this la roche posay sarah zinc um spray i love to apply it onto my face before and after the gym so as soon as i get there i just it cools off my face quite nicely and i, I actually really love it. it it works nice it just cools me it cools me off um quite nicely and i really really like that um next out is a little bit of a spray now this is a what's this a body spray by kaleidoscope the vanilla one i really really like it because it smells exceptional i just like to spritz it on after the gym when i'm walking out and going home um i never really plan my evenings in such a way that i would go to the gym and then have to shower and change at the gym and go somewhere else i don't like that i prefer to uh, go straight home after the gym and shower at home because athlete's foot is a real thing and i'm sort of paranoid about the gym showers so i don't quite like that i don't quite like that so i never shower at the gym so i never really need um things to you know moisturizers and things like that next thing out are my gym gloves now these are uh gloves from trojan i really really like these uh they're leather on the inside on this side it's leather and then when you turn it around it's just some sort of velcro type of material and i just pretty much wear them and that's how it looks and then when i'm lifting or when i am pulling on heavy machinery then definitely these come in handy they protect especially the um, the, the palm of your hand it's they're really really good they look pretty dope they look pretty fierce i like them quite a lot um and what else what else what else is in here i've got a pair of socks i always have uh carry socks with me uh for the gym just in case i might need them if i don't need them then i don't but if i do then i have them there uh i've got a swimming cap because you cannot swim at the gym without a cap it's not allowed uh which is understandable i mean some of us dye our hair and you know we put all sorts of chemicals and things in our hair so it it, it makes sense um the gym pool is actually quite nice because it's warm all the time which is nice so you can even swim in winter and of course i've got wipes because when i leave the work when i leave the work when i leave work and go to the gym i need wipes to remove my makeup i do not work out with makeup on that's disgusting uh but yeah i i i then use uh my wipes and then that's pretty much there's a big towel in here for when i'm swimming at the pool and then um sort of like a beach towels kind of vibe and then on the side pockets i've got let's see as we whiz them out on the side pockets i've got a set of earphones for when i'm on the bike and then of course i have got panty liners quite a few I've got quite a few panty liners because panty liners are important. When you're at the gym, you stretch your legs, you open things up, you... So, you know, cleaning up, I've also got um, intimate wipes in here somewhere, but I think I've, I've run out. But I also try to carry intimate wipes as well, and then I always change 
down there and clean up down there before I have a session with my trainer. And then another thing that I have quite a bit of, um, I've got a labello because lips tend to get dry, okay? Just wanna <laughs> look a little inappropriate because you are sweating and you're doing a whole lot of that. And uh, yeah, you just when you leave the gym, you still want to look appropriate, you know what I mean? And then another thing that I have in there are temps as well, because you never know, you never know when Valerie just might hit you up, okay? So I carry temps, and of course my gym card, and uh, the most important thing, which sits on my bag all the time for the privacy and security of my things is a combination lock so you can see that it always sits on my bag and this is my bag it's pretty much empty it's just a towel that's left in there and that's how it looks so i hope you guys enjoyed that wow my desk is a tip right now i hope you guys enjoyed my little gym story and my little you know situation with gym um yeah if you go to the gym do you think there's something else that I need to add to my bag? I really try and keep it as minimal as possible because my bag is already heavy anyway from my clothes and things like that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I've really enjoyed it and I'm, I'm continuing to enjoy it. If you do go to the gym, let me know what you do at the gym and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.